Is your home tidy? I created this course to explain practical tidying tips and share the magic of tidying with you. When you complete this course, I'm sure that you too can finish tidying and live a life that sparks joy. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my I have seen many people change their lives through tidying and I sincerely believe that it has a life-changing power. At the same time, I also know that to completely finish tidying is not easy. I'm sure many people have learned to tidy from my books, but there are some concepts that are difficult to explain in writing. So I created this course to explain these concepts and share the magic of tidying with even more people. I hope that you too can finish tidying and live a life that sparks joy. But before this, in order for you to understand how my method was created, I would like to talk about my story. I started to an interest in tidying when I was five years old. I read all my mother's home and lifestyle magazines. By the time that I was 15 years old, I started tidying seriously. I read every book related to tidying and I tidied up every place that I went. Not only my room, but also the kitchen and the... I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that
that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey how to tidy clothes Begin by gathering all of your clothing in one spot Make sure you take out every piece you own Look in the dresser, the closet, the every corner of your house and make one giant pile By the way, I sometimes ask my clients Is this really everything? If you find something later I will ask you to discard it. Of course, I'm just kidding. But you need to be committed. If you do this, you will be able to see how much you clothing you own. Once you have your mountain of clothes, hold each item in your hand and ask yourself if it sparks joy. As you already know, you are checking how your body reacts to each item. When you touch it, do you feel happy or troubled? Your body always knows the answer. If this is difficult for you, don't worry. Just start by the easy items. With practice, it will become easier to decide on the difficult items. Another useful way to develop your sensitivity to joy is to practice with similar items. For example, take plain black t-shirts and compare them by asking yourself. On its own. It's important that it's able to stand upright on its own.
them in half and fold them in half again and then fold in thirds this also stand up socks put together and fold it in half and fold it in half again it is very easy these also stand up Lecture 21 is an exercise. Try storing your own clothes. Of course, you should have finished choosing all the clothes that spark joy before putting them away. When storing clothes, start with your hanging clothes. If you find that your hanging rod isn't long enough, try to fold all the clothes that can be folded so you can give yourself more space. Then, start storing your folded clothes into drawers. If you only have shelves and no drawers, we recommend using boxes in the place of drawers. Store folded clothes standing upright inside the box and place the boxes on the shelves. Here's what a typical finished closet will look like. Beneath the clothes stored on hangers, there's a drawer of folded clothes and there are bags, hats, and other small items on the shelf. Here's what the inside of the drawer looks like. Please use it as inspiration. We've stored everything according to category, such as t-shirts, cardigans, underwear, sportswear, and so on. Once you are done storing your clothes, please share your work on the Facebook page. You can share a photo of your entire closet or a photo of your open drawer. Use the photos submitted by your fellow students as inspiration. Maria Kondo, I'm going to show you how to fulfill chicken.